not too shabby. What is going on, peeps, and welcome to the new set. I know it's not that much different than it was before, but I, I'm gonna get some new stuff for here, and I changed some of the shelves around. There's some noise going on in here for all you uh, camera heads out there. I'll fix it, don't worry. You gotta iron out the kinks first. What do you think of my new camera also? I'm a little uh, self-conscious, not gonna lie. You can literally see like every wrinkle in my shirt now, every little hair strand out of place. Look at this, HD quality. I'm nervous, nervous but excited. But we are now officially up and running. We are fully operational. I told you guys not to worry that much. These videos are not going anywhere anytime soon. And I figured what better way to start off the new DIYs than to do something that I've wanted to do for months that I saw a long time ago. This homemade woven towel bath mat. Now I know a bath mat might seem a little underwhelming at the current moment, but come on, that thing looks cool. And by the way, this was from Nifty's Facebook page who is owned by BuzzFeed. Uh, and what I just did was give credits. To those of you out there who do not do that, take notes. The format of these videos might be a little bit different, but the shade will never die. But on a serious note, I will leave the link to the full video of that in the description if you wanna go watch that first or afterwards. As for me though, I feel like this is gonna take me quite a while, so let's just jump into it. Now people, obviously the number one resource you need to make this project are some bath towels. Now because this will probably end up in my upstairs bathroom and I want it to match the walls and the tile and stuff, and because I don't know how my mom would react if I stole her towels and started shredding them up, <laughs> I decided to go out to the store and buy my own. Sneaking a massive DSLR into a shopping cart in Walmart is slightly easier than I originally thought, kids. So um, not that I'm encouraging, but just know it's pretty easy. But anyway, once I got all of the necessary supplies, I got home, opened them all up, and got to work. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is to take your three different colors of towels and cut them all up into three inch wide strips. It did take me a minute to find a pair of scissors that would actually cut through these thick towels, but I eventually did and cut a few strips. Once I collected a few of those, I snipped the end off of each one of the strips and then attempted to sew all three of the ends together. Disclaimer, I have never been a good sewer. I probably don't even do this right. I just kind of wing it and hope that it comes out right and doesn't fall apart in the end, AKA everything I do in life. Once those are sewn together, that is where you're gonna start. You wanna take that first layer of towel, fold the outsides into the middle, and then fold that in half again, and then pin it so it stays together as folded. Repeat that process for the entire length of your towel, putting a pin in every couple of inches, being as careful as you can to not go full threadbanger mode and stick the pin an inch into your finger. Now once you've got all three of your strips of towel pinned together, you wanna carefully braid them into themselves. Trying to flatten it out as you go, I noticed mine kinda looked like more of a rope than a flat surface to make a rug with. But I just carried on, hope it was gonna work, and I also took the pins out once they got so far away from the end. Now once you get all the way to the end of the strips of towel, you have to join the next strip of that color onto that one by sewing them together again. This is already more sewing than I've done in the past 10 years of my life. And based on the length that those first three strips of towel got me, I had a feeling this was gonna take a bit longer than I expected. Which is exactly why I took the liberty to call some friends for help. Thank God they came or else I would have been at this for three days straight. And for the next eight hours straight, I repeated that process with every single bit of towel that I had. Huge shout out to my friend Lindsay on the left there. Her links are in the description. Please go follow her and say thank you because she saved my friggin' butt with this project. Now, if you thought that was the longest, most tedious part of this project, oh no. You now have to go in and sew together each side of the coils where they meet, which also took many hours in it of itself, mainly because only one person can be working on it at one time. But I just condensed it down, you guys get the point by now, and finally we arrived at the end where we tucked the ending underneath and just sewed it off the best that we could. And this thing is looking pretty darn decent. Is it uh, 14 hours decent? 
I would elect to say no, but it'll definitely get its usage in my house for as long as it lasts. One last disclaimer, by the end of this, your floors will be absolutely destroyed with all the fuzzies coming off of these damn towels. The rugs were covered in it, our clothes were covered in it, it looked like we were slaughtering chickens out here. It was just not a pretty sight. But it's done now, I can relax. That is until the next DIY I do, which will probably take longer than this one. But until then, let me know which projects you wanna see me give a try on this show. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you don't already. Those links are down in the description. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right underneath this video if you have not yet. I hope you have an awesome rest of your week and I'll see you right back here for the next video.